Hi everyone, it's Elisa. I'm here today to show off the fabulous Ten of Cards project kit. And I promise you're going to love what I am just about to show you. This beautiful tin is filled with all the card bases, envelopes, and accents that you need for 16 cards, four each in four designs. You also get tabbed dividers with cute designer series paper to decorate your dividers to help you keep organized. The kit also coordinates with the Ten of Cards stamp set, which is sold separately. The set is truly an all-occasion set with so many versatile greetings. You have so many options with this kit. You can create all birthday cards, all sympathy cards, whatever you want, and you can use any image for any card in the kit. Today I'm going to share some tips to help you create four cards in this kit. What's great about the elements in the kit is we've taken all the guesswork away. Feel free to follow our designs with these cards, or if you choose to make the cards differently, you may not be able to make the cards as I'm going to show you. So the kit is perfect crafting choice for any gathering. If you're making this kit on your own, you'll need a few additional supplies. So here are the additional supplies that you'll need. You'll need your Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, and Mint Macaron stamp pads. You'll also need some adhesive, either Fast Fuse or Snail, and multi-purpose liquid glue, and then your Jet Black Stays On ink pad. So first of all, let's get organized. I'm gonna show off what to do with the dividers, the tabbed dividers. So on this, I used the stamp set, and I stamped here on the tab, and then of course I wanna decorate it. So the kit comes with a variety of designer series paper sheets, and each one of them is different so that you can personalize the way you want your dividers to be. So once you're organized, let's start making the cards. So the first card, you'll notice that the card base is already die cut for you. And make sure that you pop out the heart so that you can see through it. When you put this piece behind it, you adhere it with a little snail or fast fuse You'd put the snail or fast fuse right here, and then you would just place this in, and then open your card like this. And then you'll want to do your stamping, and I did thanks, and then add some of these epoxy sticker hearts. They're already, adhe they already have adhesive, and so they stick right on, and it makes for a really easy card. So that's our first card. So for the second card, my a happy hello, I chose that greeting. But like I said before, you can choose any greeting for your cards. So you'll want to do your stamping first. So I stamped right here on my wooden element, and then I used the plus symbol from the stamp set, and I had to stamp it twice across here. And you'll want to actually put your centerpiece in first so that you'll know where to stamp your plus sign. And then I adhered my Happy Hello wooden element using the multi-purpose liquid glue. And it makes for a really beautiful card that's perfect for anyone. So that's card number two. Card number three is my congrats card. It's so shiny, I just, I love it. So here's what I did for this card. There is already pre-printed circles and I just popped my congrats out. And then to add this fun little loops of baker's twine. This is what I did. So I punched it out and I turned it over so the words are on the bottom. And then I cut about, oh, 15 inches of the basic black baker's twine. And then I made little loops out of it or a tassel like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, it can just be fun. And then I added a few strips of snail here and I adhered this, turned it over, and adhered it to the front of the card. I added some stamping, and then I added some of these clear epoxy sticker stars. They're already self-adhesive, so they stick right on. Makes for a really beautiful congratulations card, or if you want, you can use the hello or the thank you or any other of the pre-printed circles to make this card your own. So that's card number three. And let's move on to my favorite card. 
So it's this beautiful happy birthday card and I love butterflies. So I'll show you a few tips on creating that card. So you take the card base and it's got an already die cut window for you. And then you'll take this window sheet that's pre-printed, it's a nice polka dot. And like our first card, you're going to adhere it right in here along the edges using snail or fast fuse. And then when you close the card, you'll be able to see it right through the card. So the, the best part of this card is this big butterfly, which I love. So I'll show you what I did to create that. So there's a back piece that I've stamped in Happy Birthday with my crushed curry. And then there is this pre-die cut butterfly. And I, I took a little time and, and popped out all the pieces. I add a little bit of adhesive to the middle of the butterfly. And then I adhered it right here so that you can see Happy Birthday through it. But of course I wanted to add a little bit of the, the metallic gold thread on the back. So like my congrats card, I made loops out of the thread and then I adhered it to the back using a little bit of snail and I flipped it over and adhered it to the front of the card. And then there's this cute little baby butterfly. I added a little bit of stamping to it and adhered it here and you've got your happy birthday card. If you like the delicate look of these butterflies, you can purchase the Butterfly Thinlets dies to make more butterflies in the colors you choose. Just imagine all the beautiful cards you can create with the Tin of Cards Project Kit. Gather your friends for a fun night out and get creating today. Contact your demonstrator to have a party to order your kit or visit the online store to buy the kit. Thanks for joining me today. Hey Ben, when are we gonna start? Do I look right in there at the camera? Katie, we're trying to film a video and get people to subscribe. A little professionalism? I mean, come on. Okay, everybody, just click the button and subscribe.